Shalom. First and foremost, I'm going to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, by Hashem Yahweh Shai, Waha Raka Kodash, which Yahweh's heavenly Father's true name, Yahweh Shai, is my well ignorantly calls Jesus Christ, and Raka Kodash is the Holy Spirit. I'm also going to give double honors to the apostles and elders at Great Millstone who rule and teach well in the scriptures, and salutations to all the Akim out there that push his word in all truth and all sincerity. And you're looking at a photo right now of um, my backyard and all you see is snow and you know it's April uh, the 9th right now and this is not uh, normal weather out here in Chicago this is a uh, you know bizarre weather okay uh, I've never seen snow in April in my life from what I can uh, uh, recall and um, this just shows you how how um out of course you know the foundations of the earth are okay we're gonna just get that scripture psalms 82 and 5 they know not neither will they understand they walk on in darkness all the foundations of the earth are out of course all right all the foundations of the earth are out of course and it's clear as day okay Right now, you know, you're supposed to be seeing tulips popping up, daffodils, you know, uh, the trees are supposed to, the, the the leaves on the trees are supposed to be um, sprouting out, um, you know, the, the weather's supposed to be, you know, you know uh, getting warm, birds are supposed to be out and about, okay, and this is what you're seeing, and the reason why this is happening is because the so-called white man, Esau Edom, is in powership, okay, he's in rulership right now, all right? He's the one that's in power. And under his rulership, he's used, uh, you know, his technology such as harp, which has thrown everything out of course. Okay? You know, and, and then on top of that, the mixture of the pollution. Okay, that, that, that affects the ecosystem. Everything is, you know, all over the place because of this man. Okay? But that harp system is really messing up, uh, you know, um, the seasons, the ecosystem, because this man, you know, creates blizzards, creates, you know, uh, hailstorms, thunderstorms, extreme heat, so on and so forth, and now that's uh, playing an effect right now on the earth. Okay, it's playing an effect on the earth, and this is why he needs to get out of rulership. This is why the earth needs new management. Okay? The earth really needs new management. It's clear as day. Because this man is destroying everything. Okay? I'm going to get Isaiah 24. Probably only going to get about three scriptures in, uh, in this lesson. I just wanted to do a quick one. This is Isaiah 24 and, um, and 4. And it reads... The earth mourneth and fadeth away. The world languished and fadeth away. The hearted people of the earth do uh, languish. Okay? And how it says there, the earth mourneth and fadeth away. And that's what's happening. Everything is just all out of course. Okay? Everything's dying off. This world is coming to a... Um, is coming to, to basically death, man, under this uh, man's rulership. Okay. Uh, verse 5 The earth also is defiled under the inhabitants thereof Because they have transgressed the laws Changed the ordinances Broken the everlasting covenant And the earth is defiled under the inhabitants thereof Okay This earth is defiled Alright And who is the uh, The one that's you know Calling all the shots man It's Esau Even the so called white man It starts with him Since he is the uh the king of the earth right now the people are following after him whether it be you know a so called arab chinese man japanese man so on and so forth you know a so called black hispanic man they're following after his footsteps and he's what does he do he causes death chaos and destruction and that's why you're seeing the earth defiled right now how it says there because they have transgressed the laws 
And, the, and the, what laws are those? The Heavenly Father's laws. You know, you're supposed to be uh, keeping the land Sabbath. Keeping the, the land clean. You're not supposed to be over hunting. You're not supposed to uh, have, de uh, what is it, uh, deforestation. You're only supposed to be cutting certain uh, trees down. It tells you that in the law. You're not supposed to be cutting fruit trees down, such as, uh, uh, you know, banana trees, apple trees, pear trees. You're only supposed to be cutting down trees um, that are used for, uh, uh, you know, like furniture, you know. You know, that, you know certain type of, uh, of wood, like, you know, such as like the oak tree, you know, the cedar tree, things like that. But this man, you know, cuts everything down in sight. I know that's uh, affecting the things uh, around us, okay? And it says, broken the everlasting covenant. Oh, no, it says, change the ordinance. And he has. He puts his laws, um, you know, he puts his laws up and says that's the right way. You know, it tells you that basically in, uh, like, uh, I think that's Wisdom of Solomon 2. talks about how uh, their, their power is in the law. Okay, their law that they set up. And says broken the everlasting covenant, and that's what they they have done. Esau Edom has broken that everlasting covenant, which is the brotherhood between uh, Jacob and Esau. Therefore, hath the curse devour, devoureth the earth, and they that dwell therein are desolate. Therefore, the inhabitants on the earth are burned, and few men left. And that curse is Esau. It tells you that in, uh, Isaiah the uh, thirty fourth chapter, I believe the fifth verse, tells you that Esau is the uh, uh, the curse of the Lord's people. Okay, he he's that uh, curse. All right, he's that people that the Lord has cursed. Okay, and he's devoured the earth. He's done a great job. All right, everything's all messed up over here. Um, and I want to get Revelation of uh, the uh, I think it's the sixth chapter. This is uh, Revelation 6 and 4. It says, And there went out another horse that was red, and power was given to him that sat thereon to take peace from the earth, and that should kill one another. And there was given unto him a great sword. All right? And that horse represents power. And the reason why um, that horse was red, because it, it represents Esau, okay? Esau is that red man, okay, the so-called white man, because he he's not really white, he's red, all right, he has no pigmentation, he has no melanin, all right, that was a curse that the Heavenly Father gave him, or one of the curses, all right, and then and this horse represents him, and power was given unto him, okay, well, Job 9 and 24, the earth is given to the hands of the wicked, and he is the wicked. You can read that in Malachi, uh, the first chapter, and I believe it's the uh, fourth verse. Wherever he sets up lands, he's the border of wickedness. And he's taking peace from the earth. Alright, that's why everything's all out of course. That's why everyone's killing one another. That's why this whole uh, earth is messed up right now. And it says, there was given unto him a great sword. And one of his swords is that heart program. Okay, that heart program uh you know manipulates the weather and, and and you can kill people by doing that okay you can overwater a uh, land you can uh, uh give a uh, land a drought it's like even right now th with this he's been using harp so much now now everything's all uh, out of order got snow in, in the middle of april okay that's unheard of out here in chicago all right, and I just wanted you know to show, you know, you know, you brothers out there that, 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 that we're at the end of this thing, man. The signs are all here. And with that, I'm gonna give all praise, honor, glory, Allah, Shimi, Al Shai, double honors to the apostles and elders, at great millstone and salutations to you, Akim Shalom.